You always think that you are going through the hardest times in life until you listen to others tell their story. Today, we bring you a story of children whose wish is for their mother to die and rest since they totally lost hope that she will heal from whatever is slowly killing her. It is something that is very rare to hear children who are literally five years old that consider death as the only solution for their own mother depending on what she is going through. Today, we visit a village in East Africa that does not have a lot of people living in it and it is where we found this family whose story shocked everyone that heard it. He is called Samuel. He is called Lambert. And this is Hirgwa, the youngest among them all. Samuel says that they do not know what is happening to their mother, but they see her developing a lot of wounds a day after another, and they are just children, which means that they cannot afford to take her to the hospital at all. Unfortunately, she does not remember when exactly this happened and she is probably suffering from memory loss because of too much pain that she is going through. He says that it all started back in 2017 when his mother started complaining about the pain she was feeling inside her body and within no time her skin had started hurting and developing wounds, which is the reason why she went to the hospital in the first place. By then, she could still walk, and she got to the hospital, and the doctors examined her. They couldn't find what was wrong with her, so she was advised to go to a much bigger hospital which she did not do because she did not have money and she thought that this was going to end anytime soon. A few days later, her only husband, who they were working together to support this family, died. And this time, she was all alone and her children and this made her a bit confused about how she was going to take care of her children without a job or any other kind of help. Well, her children were still in school and everything was not yet at its worst. A few days later, the situation completely changed from what they had got used to. Samuel and the other children were still in school, but a few days later, their mother could not walk anymore, so they painfully decided to drop out of school and start taking care of their mother. 
it was Samuel that dropped out of school at first and he decided to always stay at home and take care of his mother. But then they started starving because there was no way that they were getting food to eat. So he decided to go out and look for food. When he always went to the streets to offload and load food trucks, beg for some coins so that he can get some money to buy food for his family. He always left his mother alone in the house, yet she needed help. And the other two children also decided to drop out of school in order to take care of their mother while Samuel had gone out to look for coins and buy food. Though he brings food, it is not something that is permanent and they end up not eating at all. And this is why they did not take their mother to the hospital because they couldn't afford to pay for the hospital bills. She keeps screaming because of the way that the wounds keep hurting her, but they just look on and try to keep her calm because they cannot do anything about it. They cannot afford a mattress. So what they did was to find some soft materials usually thrown away from building sites after being used. And this is what she sleeps on and carried with because it is all that they could ever afford. Bathing is impossible for this lady and all they do while cleaning her is to get a wet cloth and clean her body trying to remove the dirt which is not easy at all because of the wounds that are on it. Since she cannot move at all this means that she cannot go to the toilet so she urinates and defecates on herself and it is these little boys that clean up the urine from the body and the body wastes from their mother. They clean her and clean themselves as well. He says that instead of seeing his mother keep suffering like this every day, he thinks that she should at least die and rest because of the pain that she is going through that is too much. And they totally do not have hope that she will ever heal again because the way they see it, it looks like she is living her last days. Her body is totally full of wounds and she does not eat well anymore. While she keeps bleeding, and passing out a lot of pus from her wounds and just one look at her one can tell that her body is literally drying she keeps crying and saying that it is her fault that her children dropped out of school and she says that she really ruined their life and their future as well and she wishes to die and stop being a burden to them because according to her, seeing a five-year-old cleaning his mother's urine is also embarrassing. They never get anything like shoes or even clothes for themselves since the little money they get is always used to buy food which is not also available each and every day. According to the way they see their mother living, they say that it looks impossible for their mother to heal to 100% since they cannot give her the kind of treatment that she deserves and they say she may die like this. They all want this situation to come to an end 
because they have been living in this kind of life for five years now, which means that when all this started, Hirgwa was just a baby and he grew up seeing a life like this and he also adapted. They say that sometime their mother dies and then she comes back to life when they think that it's done. And they are requesting everyone that is watching this to please help their mother get to the hospital and get treated because she is all they have since their father is no more. They always wish to go back to school because it has been so long without stepping a foot there because they also wish to have a bright future. Ralph Emerson once said that the purpose of life is not only to be happy, it is to be useful, to be honorable, to be compassionate, have it and make a difference that you lived and lived well. All they need right now is help, which should be given to them through GoFundMe. A link that is always pinned by Afrimax English on the topmost comment of each and every story. Thank you for watching Afrimax English. This is Prince. Do not forget to subscribe.